Um, one percent check it out. This is how I work out my hamstrings and why I'm not a big fan of the uh, monkey feet. And so this is how I'll do my hamstrings. I just have a bunch of plyo bands and you should have a bunch of plyo bands because they're so versatile. I just hook it around my weight stack. Um, you could mount it behind a door or something like that, hook it, hook it on a door. So I have it slightly higher and then I use I use these Demus Fitness ankle straps, okay? And then you'll also need a carabiner, standard one. Make sure it just holds a lot of weight if you're gonna do big weights. Um, but I, I think these are rated for at least like two or 300 pounds, just for like safety. Okay, and then so I'll attach them to the, <clears throat> to the plyo band. And then for, again, ease of use, I have another carabiner. And then you just hook it like this, and it's pretty much that simple. So let me show you real quick. So to put these things on, it's pretty easy. There you go, All right? And then you just uh, attach it to your leg. And then now I have them both on my legs and, and I can still move around. And then so all you'll do is you'll just grab the carabiner on one side and then you'll hook it up. And it's pretty much that easy. And then I'll just use my, my shirt. And I'll sit and I'll go like this. And I'll just start pulling like I'm at, at the gym. So just a basic single leg leg curl. So you can pull like that and, and I'm doing a bunch of reps here. Okay, and if you want to switch sides, you just get up and then you just switch it like that. It's a lot quicker than switching the weight on the D moves thing. So here we go on this side. Just make sure you're lined up straight with that thing. And then now I'm just working out my hamstring like this. If I wanted to make it heavier, the easiest thing to do is just move back a little bit. And so you can instantly overload the weight and you can keep going. If you wanted to make it heavier, just move back, okay? If you don't have a lot of room, then all you would do is just make these bands a little bit smaller. So I have three bands connected to, together. But if you only had two, it would work with two because I can just do it at this length and then you'll see that it'll also work like okay and then so you can still get that pull there so that's how i would do my leg curls with some type of band it's a lot easier and then so the setup that i had before with leg extensions is kind of uh, similar. I have the bands um, moved up to another anchor point. And then so if I wanted to switch sides, I'll just rotate this thing around on my foot. Okay, you just swing the, the thing to the back. And then you hook it up there. Leg extensions aren't as easy because you have to be elevated on something. And then your knee has to be behind the thing. But you're going to get the same kind of uh, contraction here at the top. So it's a lot easier. I'm not a big fan of it anymore. Um, it was nice. Maybe I was bored. I just want to test out equipment and stuff. So that's how I would do it. And then obviously when I'm training somebody or something like that, especially for basketball, it's real easy to just get up and, and do some type of drill with a ball. Because my feet are moving freely. If I really wanted to like superset some stuff, and uh, get a really good workout in. I don't have to unload this thing so I can just put my foot on the back of this bench. You know, and, and do some Bulgarians or single leg, single leg squats without messing around a lot. So you can get a real, real effective workout just doing, doing things a lot quicker. You can get on this thing that I have 
you know, and you can do your drop-ins. So coming down, and coming up, coming down, coming up. So it's just very easy. And then I'll switch again into like some little uh, Peterson step-ups or something like that. So the versatility of uh, these d moves bands are just these things. D moves, okay. It's basically all it is. And then this little clamp, okay. So, yeah, so hopefully that helps um, you guys decide and, and kind of understand what you guys need to do to get a good workout in. You don't need a bunch of fancy equipment. Um, you can use the bands pretty much for anything. You can use those ankle straps pretty much for everything. And then you'll just need carabiners um, to make switching back and forth from exercises a lot easier. All right, that's all I got for you guys. I, I hope this helps. Remember, take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better.